Hello and welcome to my video. Tonight's video is going to be a video that I've seen some other YouTubers do, um, beauty YouTubers, and I don't know who started the tag or, like, I can't remember which specific channels I watch that had done this video. I'll try to remember to link them down below in the description though. The video is, if I could keep only 10 palettes, which 10 would I keep? So I have, I think when I counted them before, I actually counted them like several days ago. I think it had a little bit over 30, like maybe 32 palettes. And actually I think I forgot to count a few. So I have like maybe like somewhere between like 32 and 35 probably uh, like eyeshadow palettes and so if I could only keep for me it would be about like a third of my palettes I know for other people that there's like they have such a bigger collection of palettes so it's like a smaller percentage of their palettes they'd be able to keep for this but for me it was like less than a third um all of my palettes except for one were from ColourPop. I really like the ColourPop eyeshadow formula, so be forewarned. There's almost all ColourPop in this video. I'm not gonna put these palettes in any particular order. It's not like from best to worst or anything. It's just kind of in a random order, so I'm not ranking them. The first two palettes are actually my newest palettes and they're from the Hocus Pocus collection. <laughs> I missed out on this palette last year and I was really excited to get it this year. This one's the Gather Round Sisters palette and that's what it looks like on the inside. I love the colors in here and I've been using it and I, I've i really enjoyed the colors in here. There's like some more colorful and grungy tones but then there's also plenty of neutrals to use and so although it's like a Halloween themed palette I think it's very versatile. I especially love this color right here. It's so beautiful. I don't enjoy pressed glitters in my palettes, but and there's one pressed glitter, but it's alright. There's, I think, a few other pressed glitters in a couple of the other palettes, but it's whatever. <laughs> but it's, it's gorgeous. And the other one is the new Hocus Pocus palette for this year. It's the Witching Hour. And look how cute this is on the palette. shade names. And then, I don't want like the mirrored, but it has this cute little graphic here. And that's what the inside of this palette looks like. And again, like there's, there's some nice and colorful shades, but then there's also these, like these colorful shades here, but then there's also plenty of neutrals to use. And like just very autumny colors with like the it's kind of like a brick red almost and the oranges and golds and I really enjoy gold tones and stuff so it's it's gorgeous and I've really been enjoying it along with the autumn tone theme <laughs> next is this little palette this is the only not color pop palette in this, which is the Essence Bronzed This Way, which I mentioned in my fall haul video, which was a collab with my friend Ocean Whispers, who's amazing, and you should check out her, uh, the collab and her video and her channel. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's like perfect for fall, but it can also be used all year. This has three mattes, 
it's a brown, this like orangey red and a cream color and then it has three shimmers so it's a gold and then a bronze and a copper and it's gorgeous and it's small so it's easy to just take with you also if you are going anywhere next is this villains collection from ColourPop this is their misunderstood palette and it's kind of like along the whole like Halloween theme also what it looks like on the inside. Look at that hollow. That hollow is amazing. The holographic. And then the colors are really nice. These ones are like, um, these ones are nice and dark grungy colors. Like they come out almost with like a super dark base, but then they have this shimmer of color to them. And then we have this purple and blue, but then the rest are kind of more neutral, which I like. Like, I can even use this as a neutral palette. Um, but this color, oh my gosh, this color right here is like, it comes out like this greenish gold, and it's gorgeous. So yes, I really enjoy this one. Next. I have the little Grogu palette. This one's the Star Wars Mandalorian palette. I actually haven't watched the Mandalorian. I've had, heard good things about it, but I don't have Disney Plus. I've never seen the Mandalorian, but I think little Grogu is so cute, or the child. Uh, he's just looking at me so cute. And I love Yoda. He looks like a little baby Yoda. This is what the inside looks like, and it says cutest in the galaxy with a little Grogu on it. It's so cute. And then these are the shades, and it's like, of course, very green. And I love green eyeshadow, and I love these shades of green. You can also get a pretty neutral look out of this palette, believe it or not, if you use like this shade with that one. And these ones in the gold, um, or you can definitely obviously get a very green look. And this shade doesn't look green, but it has like a green color to it when you apply it, and it's, it's like gorgeous. So it's not just cute. I mean, all of these palettes, like some of them are super, super cute or like themed, but it's not just the packaging and the theme, it's like the actual eyeshadow. I love using. Speaking of cute, this is the Thumper palette from the Bambi collection. And I love Thumper. Thumper is one of my favorite Disney characters. So this is the inside. And it has these two colors right here, which are kind of like grayish mauve tones. Or like taupe, taupey mauve? Taupey mauve? I don't know. But they're really pretty. And then we have this very light shimmery pink and this green. I, I love greens and I love this green. And then this darker shade. I mean, like, the glitter is okay, I guess, because if you tap off your brush, you don't really get the glitter in it anyway. I would have preferred if it didn't have glitter in it. But the shade's good for deepening up a look. So I don't mind it too much. But it's a really cute, small palette. And it's easy and pretty and I also like to use this with other palettes as well this shade here and then the last of the collab palettes that I own that are super super cute <laughs> is this Sailor Moon palette this one was called the pretty guardian palette and look at that I love that it's so cute And then look at the little moon. And then look at these little moons up here. And then this is what the palette looks like. 
It has a press glitter, which again, I'm not crazy about, but it's whatever. <laughs> and then it has um, some colorful ones, some colorful shades down here, which are fun pops of color. And then it has some more neutral colors. And this purple's gorgeous. It's like a very sheer purple. It's more like a topper, but it's so, so pretty. And this gold I love. I, I like a lot of the shades but especially like these shades here I mean, they're like, of course I like the colors but like these shades up here are really pretty and easy to use for just even like an everyday look and stuff if you didn't want to go super colorful with it next I have this really really pretty palette this is the Flutter By palette And it's got this gorgeous graphic on the inside. And this is what the pal and this is what the palette looks like on the inside. And again, there's a glitter in it, but it's whatever. This palette's kind of like a mauve pinky purpley type of palette. It's like none of the colors are straight up purple, but it still has that like purplish feel because they're kind of mauve shades. And they're really, really pretty. Um, this is one of my uh, most used palettes probably because it's just so easy to use and work with and the colors are just gorgeous and easy to make like a makeup look for pretty much anything you need a makeup look for. <laughs> like an everyday look or something like a nighttime look with some of the more like darker shades or like a date night look you could make with this palette like it's just really versatile and really pretty my second to last palette is this aura and out palette this palette was from their uh the color pop tie dye collection and again there's a press glitter uh but it has these mattes and then these uh shimmers and one of the reasons why I love this palette is because of these blue shades here. Like, sometimes during winter time, I just want, like, an icy blue look. Or, like, during spring, I just want, like, an icy blue look. It doesn't get icy down here. I live in South Florida, so it's hot all year, pretty much. But, <laughs> but sometimes I just want an icy blue look, and it's, like, the perfect icy blue shade. Then there's also some fun colorful shades here and this green's really pretty it's like a light light bluish green um and then this one's really cool it's like a goldish neon green type color so this is a fun palette to use and then the last palette i would keep if i could only keep 10 palettes the Stone Cold Fox palette. This is the biggest palette I own, and it's got all these cool tone, kind of neutrally colors. I really like it. It's it's super helpful. Like when you're looking at it, maybe. It kind of like plain and I think part of that's actually also like this isn't the best lighting in the world uh, but it's it's actually like really versatile like here's some pinky mauvey colors and then these are like neutral browns and these are more cool tone browns and then these have some kind of more like grayish silver tones to them and then some how would I describe those I guess like more neutral brown type shades but they're they're really interesting and this one comes out like with this silver tone to it that's absolutely gorgeous it's it's really stunning and then some more like pinky purpley mauvey type shades like they don't come out like purple by any means but they still have more of like that feel to them you know 
but yeah of course I'd have to keep this one if I could only keep 10 palettes because there's just so much that you can do with it this palette I actually got by accident I was gonna buy it and then I decided not to because it was just too expensive because it wasn't on sale at the time I was placing an order and I just happened to get it by their mistake on their part and um, with ColourPop since they like if they send something to you on an accident you can't send it back because it's makeup and they don't accept any type of returns or anything so basically like somehow I got really lucky and got this palette for free I had sent them an email and let them know there was a mistake I think there was actually like a couple items I had ordered that were missing off of my order that they had to go and like send me um but I'd be it was like a super lucky mistake for me because I love this palette. I mean, I've given plenty of money to ColourPop to make up for it since then, but... <laughs> so, I hope that you've enjoyed this little makeup palette video. Let me know down below if you enjoy makeup, what your favorite palettes are that you have. I'd really love to know. Let me know if you have any of the palettes I mentioned in this video and if you enjoy them too. And I will see you very soon in a new video. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to be subscribed so that you can see those new videos. And I will see you very soon.